What's up guys, welcome back. Before we get into today's video, there's something I want to address. Recently, I've been looking at my uh, analytics of my YouTube page and 80% of you guys are unsubscribed to the channel. 80%, that means only 20% of you guys are subscribed to my channel. What the heck is that about? I think Miss Parker deserves a little bit more than 20%, boys. So if you guys can give me a favor and before you watch the rest of the video, just subscribe to the channel because I'm telling you guys, we are just getting started and things are gonna get crazy in the future. But uh, yeah, if you guys didn't tune into the last video, we put this beautiful four inch fiberglass cow hood on Miss Parker and she is looking better than ever. So good. And you can see the intercooler, like so good. If you guys haven't been watching my channel since the beginning, I've mentioned it before and I'll say it again. I think hood pins are very, very important, um, particularly on a Fox body, just because I have been in a Fox body uh, under acceleration. I wasn't driving uh, and this was a long time ago and the hood blew open and let's just say it was less than ideal, guys. The hood was ruined, it flipped back and when it bent, it caved in the whole roof and I've been traumatized ever since that. So that's why like, if you go all the way back to the videos when I first got Miss Parker, one of the first mods we did was install hood pins and that's because I definitely have a pretty big fear of the hood blowing open uh, during a pool or whatever. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. And uh, let me show you what we have to work with. This is all of the old hardware that I was previously running on Miss Parker. I just cleaned it all up a little bit. Um, it just had some surface rust on it or whatever. And we're just gonna reuse it. No sense in purchasing a new hood pin kit. This stuff will work perfectly fine. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate the area that you're going to install the actual pins into on the radiator support and then get the actual pins installed. Uh, in this case, like I said, we were previously already running hood pins, so I know exactly where uh, the pins have to go back into the radiator support. And I used on the Fox body platform, obviously if you have a different car it might not be the same or odds are it's not going to be the same, but right here in the front there is like a hood adjustment adjuster a hood adjuster i don't know if that's what it's called but that's what it is it has like a little screw and a little bump stop so that way you can adjust the height of the front of the hood right here and there's one on both sides in the exact same place so that's where i chose to uh, run the hood pins i just removed the hood adjuster and that's the hole that we are going to use to run or to install the hood pins and i guess if you guys have never installed hood pins on your fox body before you guys can use the same area or you're free to locate a different area if you want it to be positioned uh, elsewhere on the actual hood. But I really like where uh, the hood pins end up on the hood by using this hole from the hood adjuster, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to get our hood pin. I have the first nut all the way up. That's how you're going to want to start. And then once we have the holes through the hood and whatnot, we will slowly uh, raise the pin so that the hole is just above the surface of the hood and I'll show you guys that again and it'll make more sense later on in the video once you got the hood pin all the way down then you're gonna put your other washer and your nut on the back side of it I went ahead and did the exact same thing to the other side I didn't film it because it is literally the exact same steps that you do on one side, you do on the other side, and that's both of your hood pins. So now, I'm just going to use a black marker to put a little bit of ink on the top of these pins. And we're gonna lower the hood, and that's how we are going to get the point where we have to drill. If you're happy with where the marks ended up on the bottom side of the hood, the next step is going to be to drill our pilot holes. And one important tip uh, to keep in mind is that typically on this front side of the hood here, it's double layered. So you're not gonna wanna drill through both sides because the top side hole might be a little bit off from your bottom side hole. So what we're gonna wanna do is drill out the bottom first. So I'm gonna be using a Dremel just because uh, I have more control over it and sometimes when you use a drill, once it penetrates whatever you're drilling through, it tends to jump a little bit and I'm not trying to hit the top uh, surface of the hood. And we're through. 
pro tip, I shaved down the guiding bit on the hole saw to uh, try our best to avoid drilling straight through the hood because remember I said we want to do one section at a time. Uh, it makes it difficult though because where the holes end up, it's concaved right here. So if I make the guide bit any shorter, I won't be able to reach the hole. It's, it's complicated, but that's about as short as I can make it and it's, it's kind of pushing it. So I'm just gonna go really slow and hopefully we don't go through the top layer. Woo! Well, dang it. Good news and bad news. So we got through the bottom layer of the hood and you can see better now. Hold on, are we blurry? You see boys, there's two layers. I can't see, the sun is glaring this out for me horribly. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get it for you. But we got through the first layer without penetrating the top layer, which is what I wanted to do. But uh, the piece that we hole sawed out slid down this canal and uh, pretty sure we'll never get that back. So that kind of sucks, but at least we didn't go through the top part of the hood, so, I mean, yeah. Gotta take the good with the bad sometimes. Now that we have the bottom layer of the hood cut out on both sides, we are gonna repeat the step where we marker the top of the hood pin. We're gonna close the hood, and what that's gonna do now is give us a mark on the top side of the hood. So now that we have the upper part of the hood marked, we're gonna use the same exact steps that we used to cut out the bottom side of the hood to cut out the top side of the hood. So I'm gonna start with a pilot hole. There she is, boys. Noise. The holes came out very, very clean and I'm very happy with them. So now we just have to get these little plates oriented the way that we want them. And they're gonna slide off now because there's nothing holding them and the hood is angled. But once we get the plates uh, exactly where we want them, we can marker off the four little holes on each plate and then we can screw in the little screws that hold the plate to the hood and that'll pretty much be it. Last screw. These don't gotta be super tight, boys. You don't want to strip the little screw into the fiberglass, so just snug them up. They don't, like I said, they don't need to be tight. They're just holding the plate in place. What holds the hood from flying open is going to be this actual little latch in the pin. So this doesn't have to be that tight, guys. Don't strip out the little screw holes in your fiberglass hood. But yeah, check that out. So we got that one in. That one's done. So, the final step to installing hood pins on your car is going to be to close the hood all the way, make sure it's shut. We're gonna take some measurements and then we're going to have to back the pin out or loosen the bolt on the pin so that the pin will come higher up. So that way, uh, the little hole on the pin that the latch goes through clears the hood. And then we tighten uh, the pin down and we're done. So let's adjust the hood pins real quick and get the install completed. She is looking good though. She is looking damn good. So I've taken my measurements and adjusted my pins accordingly. And another quick tip, something that I like to do is just cut up a little bit of vacuum hose and wrap it around the, the bottom layer of the hood, the hole that you cut on the bottom layer. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it just cleans up the final uh, product or the final results. It cleans the final results up tremendously. So yeah, it takes a little bit of time, cut up some hose, slice it down the middle, and then just wrap it around the, uh, 
you know, the lip of the lower half of uh, the hood. So now the only thing left to do is close the hood and see if we can get her latched down with the new hood pins. So let's lock her first. She's locked now. So that's how we look. And now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with the camera. Oh yeah. There's one. There's two. And there you have it. Miss Parker's new fiberglass hood now has hood pins. And I'm stoked on that. So now when we're driving and doing pools, you know, I won't have to worry about the hood blowing off. I'm not worried about if it were to open, I don't know if the fiberglass hood would dent the roof like the uh, steel hood, but still it's just a little bit of added insurance. And I mean, if you're building a race car, hood pins kind of look badass. So there you have it. I am pretty stoked with the results. It actually came out way cleaner uh, than the first time I did it on the OEM steel hood. But yeah, pretty simple. Like I said, any of you guys can do it. You guys just have to be patient, take your time, take a lot of measurements. That is key, measure left to right, front to back, make sure everything is, you know, as close as possible before you start cutting holes in your hood because once you drill a hole in the hood, there is no going back. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's gonna be it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Be easy.